Greetings internet friends, welcome back. Uh, a few new subscribers in the past couple of weeks, thanks guys for coming on board. Uh, for you that uh, may not have seen the previous videos, my name is Rick. I live in a little village in eastern Ontario and I'm building a 31 and a half foot diesel trawler in my backyard. Uh, the boat was designed by Jacques Mertens uh, of Vero Beach, Florida. In a company he ran called Bateau.com, which is now known as Boat Builder Central. And uh, this was a kit that came as CNC cut plywood sheets and MDF for the forms, etc. And uh, over the course of the last 11 years, um, I've been working on this project probably four or five months a year. You know, there was a couple of years we were really slow and I uh, fell downstairs and fractured my knee and tore up a bunch of muscles and ligaments and that slowed me down but uh, this year I think it was a good year I'm gonna do a year-end retrospective with uh, all of the pictures and some of the videos that we've taken this year to show our progress um, what I've been doing in the last eight days since I posted a video is working on uh, the inside of the main cabin and uh, all of the openings had to have these uh, one inch bolsters put in so um, we plan to put clamp in windows in and they they need at least three quarters of an inch and they usually run from three quarters to two inch thick so that we've got a quarter inch of plywood uh, one inch of bolster and there'll be a quarter of an inch of uh, interior lining so that's the plan anyway so I've been busily cutting out circles which you saw before and uh, gluing them in and uh, Mother Nature's giving us a little breeze today it's uh, very warm here it's 28 degrees Celsius I don't know what that is high 80s in Fahrenheit but uh, I'm running around in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm sweating so um, we're not quite used to this. this is rather bizarre weather for this part of the world and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, this morning, I my neighbor builds bird houses for pterodactyls. I don't know what he's building now, but anyways, he usually comes and pillages my plywood pile. He's not a bad fellow. Anyways, uh, yeah, this morning I checked the fluids on the engine, brought a battery in, turned it over for 
15, 20 seconds at a time to get the fluids moving through the engine again. I hadn't done that in a couple of years. I've been turning it by hand, but shortcut. Anyways, I've been turning it by hand every couple of years just to keep things moving. So everything's fine below the deck plates for now, uh, other than it's dirty down there. But I'm going to uh, leave this off. I'll give you a, um, you saw me, I was fairing the port side, side deck. Uh, that section had a pretty big defect in it, probably about 3 8 7 16 of an inch dip in the side panel, which I had to backfill and then uh, fair it before I could glass it in. So that's kind of my next step. So there you have it. Thanks for looking in. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me torture myself sanding and fairing, give me a thumbs up, share us out, hit the subscribe button if you already haven't, and uh, okay then, time to go. Cheers.